Hi guys, welcome to Public Connect Workshop. So in this video, we will learn how to integrate Google Sheets and ClickUp. Our use case is pretty simple. When new data is inserted in Google Sheet, it will create a task in ClickUp. Now Google Sheet is your favorite spreadsheet program and ClickUp is a project management software. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Google Sheet to ClickUp. But there is one problem. The integration between Google Sheet and ClickUp is somewhat limited. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate Google Sheets and ClickUp. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming language. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. Pabli dot com press enter here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect click on connect then go to this part called as sign in click this okay so this is the dashboard of public connect as you can see i already have made an account in public connect you can build your own free account in just two minutes here i would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your own account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box. Actually, I would insist that you try this automation with me. It's actually pretty fun. Okay, so now bring your attention to this part called as connect. Here, click on access now. At the right corner, you will find a button called as create workflow. Click this. Okay, so a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets to click up. Click up. Then click on create. When you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the choose app, let's make it as Google Sheet because we want to send the data from Google Sheet to ClickUp. So in the trigger app, let's make it as Google Sheet. In the choose method, let's make it as new spreadsheet row. Okay, so the idea is very simple. Whenever there is a new data entered in a row, the system will trigger. So a new spreadsheet row is basically a trigger. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger? Trigger is a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if new data is entered in spreadsheet row in Google Sheet, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there is only one trigger at this point, but if you want, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to make. So at present, I'm interested in only in creating, sending the data when a new data is entered in Google Sheet. So let me show you my Google Sheet. So this is my Google Sheet. It has been named Google Sheets to click up. And these are the columns, task, description, start date, and the end date. And in the in the row, it has been filled shuttle repair. In the description, it has been filled. We are going to repair shuttle start date and the end date. Okay, that is 18 November 2020 and the end date is 19 November 2020. So what we are trying to do is we are going to send the data from Google Sheet to Public Connect. So to begin the process, let's click on this button called as add-ons. Click this. Then you will find the add-on called as Pabli Connect Webhooks. So as you can see, the add-on called as Pabli Connect Webhook is already installed in my system. That is why it is showing it. In your case, it not might have been installed. So to get Pabli Connect Webhooks, click on this button called as Get Add-ons. So when you click on Get Add-ons, G Suite Marketplace opens up. Here in the search, just type Pabli Connect Webhooks. Pabli Connect Webhook, yeah, this one. Okay, so as you can see, it is already installed. When you click this, it also will be installed in your system. So after installing it, do not forget to refresh the system. Okay, do not forget to refresh the Google Sheet. So I'm closing this, going back to add-ons, going back to Pabli Connect webhooks. Here, click on this option called as initial setup. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. It is showing you two blanks webhook url and the trigger column so to get the webhook url just go to pabli connect and copy this this is the webhook url you want and paste it here the trigger column well the last data entry column is always the trigger column in our case the last data entry column is column d for example the first column was a for task 
the column B, the second column was description. The third column was the start date. Okay, that was column C. And the last column, it is actually behind this uh, window. The, the last column was column D. Okay, the due date column. So basically, the last column is always the trigger column. If the last column was F, the trigger column would have been F. Okay, so basically, now we have uh, integrated Google Sheets to PubliConnect. Now, let's see whether PubliConnect can capture any data from Google Sheet. So to do that, Let's go to Public Connect and click on this button called as Capture Webhook Response. Okay, so it is waiting for the data. So let's send the data from Google Sheet. Click on Send Test. Okay, so it is showing it has sent the data successfully. So let's go and see Public Connect. Yes, the data has been received. So the task is Shuttle Repair. That's basically this. Okay, Shuttle Repair. It has received this data. The description is we are going to repair Shuttle. We have received this data. The start time is basically the start date is basically this. Okay, just click on submit. Okay, the start date is basically this. It is representing in this format that is year, month, day, hour, minutes, and second format. Okay, and same with the end date. Uh, it is representing in uh, year, month, day, hour, minutes, and second format. Okay, so we are going to sync this data to ClickUp. But before that, there is something you should know. As you can see, the start date and the end date are in year, month and day format. We want to change it into POSIX format. So why we need to change into POSIX format? That is because ClickUp prefers POSIX format. So your obvious question is, what is a POSIX format? POSIX format basically means the number of milliseconds that has elapsed since January 1, 1970. So we are not going to get into much technicalities about POSIX, but I will tell you this. POSIX format is actually very easy for the machines to read and perform calculations. For example, May 30, 2019 will be read as like this. This is the POSIX format. Okay, this is the POSIX format. So your question is now how I'm going to convert them into POSIX format. Well, we will use two action windows, one for converting the start date and the other for converting the due date or the end date. So to get the action window, just click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. Here in the choose app, let's make it as date time formatter. Since we are going to change the time format, let's keep it as date time formatter. In the choose method, let's keep it as format. Then click on connect with date with formatter. Okay, now a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of this blank is very simple. We are going to change the format of the start date. So in the date, we are going to map in the date okay so the date is basically this okay so we are going to map in the detail so how we are going to map in that detail it's pretty easy we just click on this button this is called as the mapping button here enter the date okay we have got the start date enter this now from time zone so my time zone is basically asia kolkata so i'm just basically going to copy this and paste it here now, if you are from different time zone, just click on here. Okay, so these are the time zones. These are the different time zones you have. And uh, just find your time zone according to your country, according to your province and just paste it here. Okay, now coming to the format. We want to change it into the POSIX format. So just expand this. And at the last, you will find the POSIX format. This is the POSIX format. Okay, now to the time zone. Since we are only interested in keeping it as uh, Asia Kolkata, so just basically copy this and paste it here. I'm not interested in changing my time zone. Okay, then click on save and send test request. Okay, so the result is here. So this is the POSIX format. So as you can see, the POSIX format, the original POSIX format should be in milliseconds. This is actually in seconds. We need to change into milliseconds, but we will change change it later okay so basically we have got the start date into POSIX format similarly we have to change the due date or the end date into POSIX format so to do that again click on the plus button now you know the drill let's go back to date time formatter choose method format connect with date time formatter date this time let's map in the due date or the end date it's coming as end date okay this one Time zone is Asia Kolkata. I'm basically pasting it. To format is basically POSIX format. This one. To time zone, I'm not changing it. Let's keep it as Asia Kolkata. Then click on save and send test request. 
okay so the api response is showing the result as POSIX format this is in seconds not in milliseconds we actually want the result in milliseconds okay so basically now we are ready to sync all our data to ClickUp. so to do that just click on this plus button now we are going to sync all our data to ClickUp. so in the choose app let's make it as ClickUp. okay in the choose method since we are interested in creating a task let's click on create a task now create a task is basically an action there are many more actions like create folder create list time track and so on however just like triggers if you don't find the action of your choice you can contact us at admin at the rate to build a custom action for you so but at present i'm only interested in creating a task so let's keep the action as create a task then click on connect with ClickUp. now in the new credentials we have a blank to fill called as the api token to get the api token let's go to my ClickUp account here at the left bottom okay at the left bottom you will find the profile expand this cancel this okay here you will find the option called as apps click this so this is the api token you want okay simply copy this and paste it here then click on save okay so a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of this blank is very simple we are going to create a task with the help of this blank we are going to sync in the data that we received from google sheet into this blank via public connect so before we sync in the data before we map in the data let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent secure with us okay so in the workspace it is showing as ashi's workspace that is because let me show you my workspace let's go back okay in the profile it is showing ashi's workspace that is why basically it has mapped this detail okay so in the space it is showing pably so let us show let me show you the spaces so these are the spaces i have uh, pably hulk red and space okay so when we expand this it has uh, it is also showing pably hulk red and space so actually i'm interested in uh, creating one more space so let me add one more space i'm actually trying to show you something let's say dlfg is the space name click on next uh next ashi let's keep it as an ashi let's keep it as a normal next priority next list review space and create a space so we have created a space called as dlfg okay so let's go to public connect and let's refresh this so in the drop down you will also find that the newly created dlfg workspace uh, i'm sorry space okay uh, the newly created dlfg workspace this is because uh, public connect maps this data in real time so any event happens in uh, click up it will be reflected in public connect okay that's what i'm trying to show okay so in the space required i am actually going to map the details in pably so let's keep the space as pably now in the folder name it is showing testing okay that is because i only have one folder in pably okay that is testing so basically it has mapped this minor detail and in the list name it is showing three list list integration and list one that is because let's expand this so it is showing three list list integration and list one okay so i'm going to keep it in list now comes the task name so i'm going to enter the task name so as i mentioned before this is called as the mapping button click this and the task name is shuttle repair that is we got from here okay something that we got from here from the google sheet shuttle repair so we are just going to click this so it has mapped this information in the description we are going to map in the description so the description was we are going to repair the space shuttle basically we are going to just mapping this detail that's all okay so in the assignee email let's keep it as ashi it basically maps uh, the assignee email automatically in the tags required we are going to enter the tags in double quotes each separated by a comma for example if you want to enter three tags so let me enter three double quotes separated by comma okay in the double quotes we are going to enter some detail let's say pink something random that's uh, coming to my mind shiny and uh, metal the shuttle is metal okay the priority we are, it's not that urgent let's keep it as high now comes the due date and the start date so we are going to map in the due date so this is the end date or the due date so we have mapped the detail but this is kind of wrong as i mentioned before clickup prefers the posic format so first delete this and enter the posic format so the due date the end date or the due date 
let's find here okay this is the result so why are we keeping this so i will answer you that this is the result we want okay as i mentioned before we have converted the date time the end date time format into this okay this is now converted into this okay so basically we have mapped the result now as i mentioned before this is in seconds we want the POSIX format in milliseconds so just add three zeros that's all similarly with the last start date we are going to enter the start date this is wrong so we are going to delete it we are going to map in the real date in POSIX format this is the right one we got this result from here actually we are actually converted this in the first action window we had converted this so we are basically mapped this detail now this is in seconds we are going to convert it into milliseconds okay so basically all the important details has been mapped and filled just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing that uh, it has sent the data to click up so let's see in testing whether we have uh, what what was the task name shuttle repair yes we have a uh, task called as shuttle repair okay and these are the tags the presence of this task shows that we have integrated google sheets to click up via public connect this means anytime a data is entered in google sheet it will be reflected in click up but to double check it if the integration is working fine or not let's make one more entry in google sheet but before that before that let me show you the whole gist of the process so i'm going to minimize all my windows all my action windows I'm going to minimize this window okay so basically I have minimized all my trigger windows and the action windows so this is the whole gist of the process first you integrated Google Sheets to Pabli Connect then you change the date time format of the start date into POSIX format then you change the date time format of the end date into POSIX format and you have synced all the data into ClickUp via Pabli Connect so basically now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and ClickUp okay so let's make one more entry in Google Sheet but before we make an entry in Google Sheet, let's go back to add-on one more time, okay? Then let's go back to Pabli Connect webhook and click on this button called as Send On Event. This will ensure that the data will be sent automatically from Google Sheet to ClickUp, okay? So in the task, let's say, let's keep it as plumbing. Description, we are going to prevent great flood. <laughs> something random that's coming to my head that's all the start date is uh, let's keep it as on 21 november 21 november 2020 the end date is 21 let's keep it as 22 november 2020 okay so okay so all the details has been filled so let's check in click up whether we have a task called as plumbing so let's refresh this Yes, there is a task called as plumbing. So this means our integration is working absolutely fine. So whenever there is a new entry in Google Sheet, it will be reflected in ClickUp. Not just these two apps, you can integrate a plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate .com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or just visit us at www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.